and welcome to the Mobility Pavilion at Expo 2020 Dubai! I'm Alif, your mobility guardian. We will be taking an amazing journey through the world of mobility and together we will be finding out how it drives everything forward and how we got here today. But first, check out my cool home! It looks a lot like my favorite toy, a fidget spinner. Now, follow me. We've got so much to see. <laughs> Must be extra quiet here. This is my dearest friend, Noor. Hmm, I wonder why she's humming. And what could be making her point like that? Is she reaching out to a friend? Or maybe counting the billions of stars in the sky? The universe is so incredible! The universe is huge and is full of shining stars. Some are so far away that their light takes millions of years to reach us. Yes, even light is mobile. Hmm, I wonder, can it perhaps move in any direction? us is the sun. Can you guess how much time the light from the sun takes to reach us on Earth? Is it eight minutes? Eight years? Or 80 million years? The answer is eight minutes. That's how long it takes the light from the sun to reach Earth. Hmm, it's a shame. I can't see what Noor was pointing to up here. Let's go back down and check up on her. Mm, Noor is driving me crazy. She's not moving at all. And I'm all about movement and mobility. I hope she finds what she's looking for. Hey, look, something is coming towards us. Look at this beautiful butterfly! So that's what Noor was waiting for! This tiny creature has transformed in 9 to 14 days from a tiny larva into this amazing butterfly we see now! Much like the journey of humans! Some butterflies can fly for more than 4,800 kilometers! even crossing countries on their journey. Some birds travel 79,000 kilometers in their migration journeys. But what about humans? What's their mobility story? Come along, let's take a journey back in time and find out together. Early humans were always on the move, looking for places where they can live better. First, they walked everywhere barefoot. Then, they invented shoes so they could walk further and faster. Soon, they learned how to use animals to help them move around. People from different places met each other. They exchanged culture and ideas. Big cities grew and expanded. They became centers of knowledge and great wonderful inventions. Come on, let's look at one of these cities. We are in the 9th century, and this wise man who is lost in his thoughts is none other than Al-Kindi. 
He was a great scientist and a talented mathematician. Oh, and he was good at music too. He even invented a secret language. Al-Kindi loved to invite other thinkers from all around the world to his home city. Can you guess which city it was? Welcome to the great city of Baghdad! Home to thinkers, philosophers, and scientists. Great minds connected here from all around the world. Their amazing work was stored in the House of Wisdom, where Al-Kindi lived. Here he is. He's probably wondering when his guests will arrive. Speaking of great minds, let me show you something amazing! More ways to move and more mobility options let humans dream bigger and explore further than before to seek adventures in new and strange places. Meet three of the world's greatest travelers! Meet El Bakri from Spain! One of the giants who really helped advance the progress of human movement. We call him a traveler, but guess what? He didn't actually go anywhere. But he did meet and talk with lots of people who traveled all over the world. He was so amazed by their stories and the paths they took that he wrote them all down in a book. He was also known to be the best map maker of his time. Maybe we should call him a traveler of the mind. Meet Ibn Battuta. His thirst for mobility took him from Morocco all the way to China. He wrote about the many people that he met and talked to on his travels. His work explored the things that made them different and the many things they all share and have in common. Lastly, meet the great sailor, Ibn Majid, also known as the Lion of the Seas, originally from the Emirate of Ras al Khaima. He explored the Arabian Sea. In fact, the navigation tools and maps he made helped make it easier for future sea captains to explore and travel further and more safely. Woohoo! I love the sea and its treasures! The sea is part of the UAE's own mobility story. The waters of the Arabian Gulf are full of oysters and valuable shiny pearls of all sizes. Our ancestors found these pearls and traded them to create beautiful jewelry, even royal crowns. It takes the bravest and most skilled of men to dive to the deepest parts of the ocean to find a single pearl. I bet you didn't know that. Divers tie a small stone to the bottom of their feet so they can sink to the bottom of the seabed. Like this man over here. Look at him. They try to catch as many pearls as they can before their breath runs out. Oh my! But they always have to be very careful not to drown or be attacked by hungry sharks. For our grandfathers, mobility drove them to go after their ambitious dreams to seek a bright and secure future. 50 years later, mobility is still driving our hopes and ambitions and taking us to the furthest points of our vast and mysterious universe, all the way to planet Mars. Isn't that cool? Mobility has given us pearls and planets. In fact, do you know that in February 2021, our country's Hope Probe mission reached Mars? Because of the probe, now we have many amazing pictures from this neighboring red planet, and we are learning more about its unfamiliar atmosphere. Haha! <laughs> now my ultra advanced scanners will show planet Earth's mobility with it is today. 
100,000 planes take off and land every day. Trucks, cars, ships and trains keep people and products always on the move. But mobility is not only about the movement of people and goods. Oh no! It's also about the movement of information. The internet! What a great invention! Zapping knowledge and ideas from one end of the earth woo, to the other! At the speed of light! Smarter! Quicker computers powering robots with artificial intelligence! Just like me! Gathering information, but always responsibly as to how we live and what we can do to live in harmony and protect our lovely planet. of our mobility journey. That's all from me. I look forward to seeing you all again. And I hope you visit soon. Keep moving forward. And as my friend Noor would say, reach for 